All right, temps right now, though, at least are in the 50s. So, yeah, it's very, very windy out there, but it's, at least it's not bitter cold out there. But oh, don't worry, the cold is coming. That we have a cold weekend coming, and we'll talk about that in a second as well. But let's go over to Storm Tracker 4, and you can see we just have a couple of spotty little showers up here in the thumb. Uh, more of that in Ontario. All of this is moving eastward, so it's not going to be a factor for tonight. But remember all that severe weather we talked about yesterday? That has now made it to the east coast, and the bullseye for the severe weather risk area today is New York City. They're getting the storms right now, so we're going to keep an eye on that tonight but for us nothing in the way of violent weather and in fact I think skies will become partly cloudy once again during the overnight hours and then tomorrow morning we'll wake up to probably a fair amount of sunshine but the clouds are going to increase tomorrow so a dry start but so if you're going to services for example in the morning you should be okay from a rain standpoint but in the afternoon this cold front approaching is going to spread some showers across the area so afternoon activities heading to a Seder tomorrow evening uh, it looks like there's going to be some rain in the area. Now, this front will gradually move through the area overnight Friday night. We wake up Saturday to some sunshine and dry weather. And then, look, we have uh, increasing clouds Saturday afternoon. And what's interesting, the clouds are going to clear out after midnight, but some models are actually suggesting that the thumb could get a few April snow showers uh, Saturday night. But then Sunday, we're going to wake up on Easter Sunday morning with Lots of sunshine, but if you're going to sunrise services, it is going to be very, very cold, and we'll talk about that in a second. But tonight, we drop down into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. The gusts will be diminishing overnight, and then tomorrow, we're going to again start with at least partial sunshine, if not full sunshine, but the clouds increase, and we have those showers develop during the afternoon. Looks like mid-50s for a high, and then uh, say goodbye to 50s for a while, because we are going to see temperatures in the 40s all the way through next Tuesday. By the way, Monday is going to be the cold day of the stretch with a mix of rain and snow but uh, Sunday is going to be well breezy and cold to start with temps in the 20s on Easter Sunday you'll need more than that bonnet it's going to be wind chills could be in the teens Ooh. but then lots of sunshine through the day and less wind as we get into Easter afternoon guys Easter egg hunts are going to be chilly oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that